Welcome back. We're in a new chapter, everyone, which means at some point I'll have to go check out the bathhouse, make sure I get that HP boof that you can get there. But there is actually some little quests around, like the warehouse stakeout, the little apprentice trial we've got going on there. The artisan, okay, is suffering. But there's this one here, a bunch of question marks. What is a bunch of question marks doing here? Oh, hey. What are you guys out in front of the house for? Uh, it's you for... Well, hey, don't, uh, me. You're not getting up to any funny business behind my back, right? We sure aren't. See? And the trash. Or L. Ma Mademoiselle L? I don't know. It's really not all that big a deal or anything, you for... Just thinking of doing some shopping in the main square, that's all. Main square, you say? That's not really the sort of place kids should be going by themselves. My thoughts exactly. That's why I always have them go with me or Felix. Not sure I can right now, we're a little pressed for time. Pshh. Said you had to come in the first place. Sides. It'd be totally defeat the purpose if you did anyway. Yep, totally. Huh? Why? You guys really are planning something, aren't you? Oh, brother. I think I'm starting to catch on. Yeah. Well, I, I want to say we really should get going, because it's like, yeah, we should leave them to it to buy the gift for her and stuff. Well, since we're here, why not? In that case... Are you sure? It's kind of out of the way, isn't it? Well, a, a short shopping trip shouldn't slow us down too much. I don't see any need for all of us to go, though. Why don't you chaperone them at all? Huh? N no, I, I couldn't ask you to do all that. If anything, I should be the one. Nope, no take backs. We're going with Adol. Yay, congrat congratulations, Adol. You can just watch over the place while we're gone, Yufa. And well, since you're always so busy, maybe you can take the time to relax a bit too? Hmm. Well, I've been pretty bushed. What with the farm and the bar and the all. Still, you three are way too much of a handful for Adol alone. I should probably... I can go with him. After all, if there's anything I should be able to help with, it's shopping. And I too shall tag along, as it were. Living in Artisan Lane has likely imparted me with some measure of expertise. Wait, so all three of you get to go? Well, if you insist, I guess I could use a break or two. Just make sure to keep a good eye on them out there for me. As for you three, you better be on your best behavior, got it? Yes, Mom. Ooh, I love colossal waste of time. I'm gonna go get some shot eye over there. Always the reliable one. I guess this isn't exactly his cup of tea. I'll keep an eye on you for. I'd be surprised if she snuck out after you. Good luck out there. Ah, uh, yes. I'd surmise that we were unable to ask you this until now. Why is it that you wish to go to the shopping bit in the main square? Well, we wanted to get some ingredients for making candy. Orange jets, to be specific. They're candied orange peels dipped in chocolate. We're gonna make them to give to Yufa. Yep, it's like a thank you gift for all the hard work she's done. Mom used to make them all the time, back when she was alive. It was Yufa's favorite. That's where we got the idea. I see, a sensible decision. However, I struggle to comprehend the logic behind keeping this a secret from Yufa. Well, things like this are more fun when they're a surprise. You'll get it once you see how happy it makes her. Is that so? I'll make sure to take note of it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get shopping already. Hold on, dudes. We should check what we need to get one more time. Let's see, I've got a list right here. Super sweet chocolate, extra juicy orange, pretty wrapping paper. I see, it's not a gift if it isn't wrapped after all. Everything we need should be in... 
either this street or in the marketplace. Shall we begin our search then? Yeah, let's go! Alright, let's see, seeing as we're... I don't believe we have any reason to head over this way. Yeah, let's just go back to the shopping for now. Oh, I was going to get my health buff at this point. Disappointing! That made it easier for me, wouldn't it? Hello? Hello! Are you looking for something? No! Hmm. Oh, Talk then. Maybe next time. Hello, and welcome to the Trading Bureau. Anything I can help you with today? Oh, yes. You, you handle direct imports here at the Bureau, right? Uh, would you happen to have any brands of fine chocolate in stock? Hispanic chocolate's been pretty popular for uh, its intense sweetness lately, as I recall. Well, you're in luck. I actually got a shipment of it in just recently. Would you like to purchase some? Ah, yes, please. Ah, oh, Cresha. Really know your chocolate? Oh, no. It's not that. Pendleton sells chocolates from time to time, is all. Hispanic Chocolate. I detect the delightful fragrance of cocoa. Yep, this is it, all right. Pair this with some hot tea or coffee, and you've got an irresistible combination. Hey, Mark. You can't have any, Earl. Meet it for the sweets we're making you for, remember? Uh -huh. How's that fair? We bought it, didn't we? Now, now, you still have some left over after you're finished. Well, if that is the case, why not make enough sweets for the entire family? Oh, yes, yes. What do you say, Mark? Ah, uh, I guess I don't have a choice. If a share takes priority, though, so don't go sneaking in any nibbles, okay? Okay. It's that idea of, like... And they definitely must have found, like, the equivalent of the Americas, then. If they have chocolate. You know. Like, it makes sense, doesn't it? Hey! I carry only the best. Guaranteed. Guaranteed? Oh my. Nothing caught your eye? Nope. Well, hello there. Can I help you find anything? I understand you deal in various sundries and daily necessities. That being the case. Do you got any wrapping paper? The pretty kind, none of that ugly stuff. It's gotta be one that Yufa would like too. We're not gonna get anywhere asking him like that, you know. Hmm, wrapping paper, right? Think of this one here. This design's been pretty on trend for gifts and such lately. Oh, this is a cute one. Look at that floral design. It's so colorful too. I think Yufa would like it for sure. Great. We'll take a hundred. Sorry about him. How much for just one? There we go. I threw in a ribbon for you too, free of charge. Wow, thanks, mister. We appreciate your generosity. My pleasure. Warms my heart to see them so excited about making a gift for their sister. Feel free to stop by again if you need anything else. Good businessman, good businessman. Thank you. He'll have repeat customers as a result of doing that. That's very, very smart. Very, very... Oh, hello. What's the question mark over here? Meow. Well, all right, I said meow before we arrived. What is it? Ah! You tricked me! You devious little kitty. Well, you quite chubby kitty. Welcome. Well, uh, take as long as you need. Quite an eye you've got there. More Indeed. things on your shopping list? Welcome, welcome. Step on in. I just got in a fresh shipment of fruits and... Oh, well, if it isn't the little Gambergs. Isn't Shufa with you today? Nope, she's still at home resting. Oh, do you know each other? Yeah, Miss Paulette's been buying our produce wholesale since back when Dad ran the farm. Miss Paulette, do you happen to have any good oranges to make orange jets out of? I'm well, thinking of making some, uh, to give to Yufa. My, how delightful. You four will be pleased as pie, I can tell you that. Though I can't say I'm familiar enough with these fancy sweets to know what works best. 
good orange yet. It's a nice mix of bitter and sour in the peel to go with the sweet. So generally, the fresher the orange, the better. I see, in that case... Oh my. The third orange from the right on the second row from the back should prove satisfactory. Uh, you mean this one? I'll be. This orange is remarkably round and plenty ripe to boot. A little beauty like this will turn out delicious no matter what you do with it. That was amazing, Anamona. How'd you know? Anamona, use your powers wisely, okay? Is it not wise to save us undue time and effort? Well, no harm, no foul, I guess. Here you are, Mark Deere. Be careful taking it back with you. I will, thank you. Juicy orange. Well, that takes care of everything we needed. Thanks for coming along with us, everyone. It was nothing, really. We are always happy to help. Let's get home and start cooking. Yuf is gonna be so happy. Hey, slow down, you two. Ah, pardon me just a moment. Oh, Miss, um, Paulette, right? That's right, dear. I'm glad I caught you in time. I've got to give you these, you see. Take them. They're on the house. I'd be very appreciative if you could deliver them to Yufa for me. Receive some fruit. <laughs> to think those kids would go through all this trouble just to thank their sister. And the four of them get along just wonderfully. Little angels that they are. I had worried when their parents passed, but they truly are a family. Through and through. A true family, huh? Presume you refer to you for having been adopted. Ah, so she mentioned it to you as well, then. Well, yes, uh, though we don't really know all the details. And in that case, perhaps you ought to ask her yourself. It may bring her some small relief to share her past. Hey, slow pokes! What's the hold-up, huh? We're heading home, remember? You was waiting for us. With that, everyone made their way back to the agricultural district. While the kids made Yufa's present in secret, the others were tasked with keeping her busy. As they took a short stroll nearby, Adel and the others casually asked Yufa about her past. Oh, that's right. I never told you about it, huh? I was sent into foster care as a child before my parents found and took me in. Then came Mark, Wades, and L. We were raised no differently than any other siblings. Thanks to that, though, the three of them still don't know the truth. Oh. I see. Hmm. But uh, seriously isn't anything worth worrying about, really. As far as they're concerned, I've never been anyone but their older sister. It's more than enough for me. I mean... Do have to tell them about it some day or another, of course. Why? But well, that's easier said than done. Mufa, why? Why do you need to tell them at all? Like it's not relevant. It'll be okay. I know it sounds like I'm just saying that, but I'm sure they think of you the same way I think of my father and Carla. As do I for Rodario and Melissa, though the circumstances do differ a bit. Yeah, just a bit. At the very least, your connection to them is certainly more than your re you regard. I'm just thinking like with this whole like Jimmu Homunky like idea. How does that explain doll though? Maybe a failed experiment in that regard? You guys <laughs> There they are. You fa Okay, kiddo spill. What have you all been up to? Don't think I've noticed how much you've been trying to keep me away from. Wait. That smell. <laughs> Here, Yufa. This is for you. Wait. Hands over the homemade orange jets wrapped in floral paper. These are... They're just like Mom used to make. That's right. 
They're on and orange orange jets. Or on jets. Yes. Your favorite Jufa. It's just we wanted to thank you for looking after us and all. It's not for any special occasion or anything, just you know, because we noticed you've been working harder than ever lately. With the farm, work, and probably a bunch of other things we don't even know about, too. Ah. Listen, all we're saying is try not to overdo it, okay? Remember, me, Mark, and Elle are always here for you. And Dad and Mom, too. Yep. You'll never get rid of us, no matter what. You guys. Just, when did you get all so grown up, huh? Oh, I can't take it anymore. Come here, you little rascals. Hey! You forgot... Bray! Deal with it. You're getting a mega hug whether you like it or not. <laughs> mega hugs are so warm. Is this what families are supposed to do? Well, there you have it, Anamona. The power of a good surprise. Indeed. Helping them was well worth the effort. Meh. I got some good sleep out of it, at least. Afterwards, Yufa shared the fruits of her siblings' work for everyone to enjoy. After eating their fill of a heartwarming, if questionable tasting snack, they resumed their activities once more. I'm just happy we could help. Apples. Fleur. Mushroom. Red mitt. Whip mitt. I was expecting more. I was having fun doing that. Right, so... Where next? Warehouse stakeout? I'm thinking the Aprilis trial. Very curious. Oh, you've come. Let's begin the trial at once then. Are you prepared? Wait, 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 not so fast. We're still not even sure what you're requesting. What kind of trial is it exactly? My proposal couldn't possibly be any simpler. Your capabilities have been improving steadily thus far. It's about time I trained you to reach your fullest potentials as monstrums. Our uh, fullest potentials? That makes this a private lesson of sorts, then. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? You and me, Prillis, one on one. I'll take you any day of the week. I'm afraid that cannot be done. Uh, but fear not. We'll still get the challenge you so desire. What say you, Crimson King? Let's get this trial going. In that case... You express your interest in taking on Aprilis' challenge. Very well. Let us begin at once. The time has come. What is it exactly, though? Alright. All right. Now, Monstrums. Show me the extent of your power. Mm, fine, but only because we got her. What a troublesome bunch. Let's make quick work of them. Okay. I need to change up the group, though. Can I not change the group up now? That's kind of annoying. Is that the challenge that is like giving me this group? It's entirely possible. It's gonna be it, isn't it? That's the challenge, is like... That you don't have your normal group. Or, well, you like you have different groups or different things, maybe? I'm confused, it. But that, that, that's actually. Oh, it's so yummy. Immediate treatment required. I hope you stop doing that. That's not what I wanted. I'm still not used to switching over. My controls for the targeting there, so that's what's causing issues. 
You're good. Suppose. But can you handle the real thing? What does that mean? Real thing? Do you mean? Oh, what is this thing? It looks like the golem from the ruins. I sense an immense power from it. <laughs> now this is what I call entertainment. It is dangerous. Please stay back. Switch! Trying to think like who's best to attack this. Leave it to me! Leave it to me! Leave it to me! Like, can you stop doing things when I'm trying to figure out why I'm, why I'm pressing and stuff, because I'm trying to target and stuff like that. Right, so... So evil of them to attack me when I'm doing things. Oh, well, I tried, tried to dodge into that. It did not work as well as I wanted it to, obviously. Trying to make that work for me. Okay. Is that it? Back to the big boss. And that's what I call a challenge. Guess it's worth taking that she devil up on her demands from time to time. You're the only one enjoying yourself here, you know. Yeah, I'm at my limit. That battle was of comparable difficulty to that of the full moon. Trial is complete. Exceptionally done, everyone. While there is much room for improvement, yeah. I am most pleased with your performance. Um, thanks? I'm not even sure whether to sigh in relief or exasperation or both. Still, a princess seems a bit more chipper than usual today, don't you think? Patricia? Huh? I, um, yes? You are greatly lacking in fortitude, as you are no doubt already aware. Try varying the pace of your movements. Doing so should save you much undue harm. Yeah, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Anamona? Jules, your actions, while methodical, could use more efficiency. Anticipate your adversity's next move before proactively responding in kind. You'll find your fighting prowess should become much more refined as a result. I see. I was not aware of such. Thanks for the tip. Yufa, you fight with your utmost and credo. Your battle instincts are a boon, to be sure. But your emotion volatilities have a tendency to undermine your performance. Exercise temperance, and you will better cultivate your respective potentials. I think that's more appropriate to me at this point. Was that supposed to be a compliment? If you are banking on making me feel all fuzzy inside, you're out of luck. Seeing as I had such a good time here, yeah, I'll save you all the trouble of making a scene. Hmm. But that your judgment were always so sound. In any event, there's your reward for completing the trial. Thanks. Thank you. Always the straightforward one, aren't you? I will be counting on your efforts in battle as well, Crimson King. And I'll be expecting even greater diligence of the rest of you from here on, Monstrums. Job well done. I mean, that wasn't the group setup I wanted, but okay. Is that the group setup I've got outside of battle, outside of, like, 
in the normal world right now. Is that what's going on? <laughs> yes, it is. That's what's caused the issue there. It's like, ah. Uh. It's very much like, no, no, no. You there. That's what I want. No, that's not what I want. How did you want to? Oh, oh, yeah, it's because I did that. Because I just did the, um, the orange tears quest, isn't it? That's what caused that. Of course. Um, let's head over to the bathhouse now. Like, we're right near it, so. Mm -hmm. Yes. Everyone's HP fully recovered. Everyone's max HP is increased by 10. Lovely. Alright, let's see. I do actually want to check, see if there's other things to buy in regards to, like, um... What they called. Welcome! What, what can I get for you? Those, the presents, Welcome that's it. Soon, you hear. So I didn't yeah. check the other shops, did I? Hey there! Take a look at- I recommend everything! Hmm, don't have the well, items for that. see you again soon! Come on in! Everything's a good choice. Come again soon! Please, be more careful! Oh, so I want this question mark here. Feel as if you are being watched. There seems to be no one around. Where's the cat? What the hell? I detect a strange presence. Feel something peering at you from the water. What is this? Someone has found me. Fantastique monstrums. I am very impressed. It spoke. You show yourself whatever you are. Oh, magnifique. I reward you with the most precious treasure in the entire land. What? That treasure is I, the spirit of the lovely Loire River, Montbriand le Grand. Montbriand. Now, bring your rightfully earned treasure to your hideout and take good care of me. The hell? Spirit in the river is a salamander? An axolotl, uh, to be more precise. That's not really the issue here. What exactly is going on here? I've seen it come up in mythological works here and there, but never once did I expect it to actually be real. You introduce yourself and ask Maribon if he knows about the monstrums. B bien sir, your children that have been blessed with gifts, yet cursed as warriors. Through the waters I see all, for I exist to oversee the cycles that sustain this land. Okay. We could use a wizened advisor. Well. What kind of things are we supposed to learn from a salamander? I guess that depends on whether he really is the one spoken of in legends. I am not one to judge either way. I don't think so such. Why not bring him back with us for now? Maybe we'll have to ask Shantae how he feels about keeping pets, though. Do, 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 do. Sorry. Ah, quell Melchants. I had hoped the lovely Mademoiselles would carry me back. But this will do just fine. Okay. And so you brought back to the dandelion the strange creature claiming itself to be the spirit of the Liberia. Okay. So this is like the shoe bill, I imagine. Magnifique, this will do nicely. Although the shoe bill didn't speak. Or maybe, actually, maybe it's. No, because we would have fought it. I was going to say it's like the Kong dude. I would have preferred a gold vase, but I will make an exception for my friends. I'm glad it pleases you, Monster. Any friend of the Monstrums is welcome at the Dandelion to make yourself at home. Wee oui, wee, oui, a most hospitable welcome. But if I am not mistaken, you're all very busy, no? It would be rude of me as a guest and your new pet to be nothing more than decor. Ah, yes, I have a beautiful idea. You have use for the items that beasts very often carry, yes? I'm Morbahon. Can find these items for you. Oh, 
And you will buy them for me. Oh, you're a shop. Cool. You're not just going to give them to us? Huh? Oh, la, la. It's like he's wearing a beret. It's weird. And just because I am very adorable does not mean I do not need to earn a living. Now, move along and let me work my magie. Yep. It's got a shop. The shop. It's a, sh it's a shop. Okay. Oh, oh. State your desire. I'll, st I'll state my desire, mate. Don't you worry. But at least we've got a place we can just buy materials. You must be au revoir. Okay. What? What? I don't even know anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to see if I can, like, I have a gift for people. I just want to see if I can give it to people. Sure thing. There. A steady an apple. Hey, if I'm not mistaken, this is from Asteria. That's right, Balduca's trade relations with Asteria, doesn't it? <laughs> it takes me back. That's where we met seven years ago. We saw Rob and Kanan. But I'm curious to see how Gobin and the others are holding up. I'll learn of them eventually. Let's send them a letter. Yeah. Good idea. Been a while since we've had the luxury of sending letters. Balduca's postal service is top-notch. It'll probably arrive fairly quickly. Hmm. Also wonder if that girl who saved you is doing alright. <laughs> Spoilers? <laughs> we'll be here talking about old times all day if we don't stop now. Anyway, now we've got this apple to snack on when we get a break. We can continue our trip down memory lane then. Oh, very well. One kit KO. One kit K KO. One hit KO. Yes. Right, so I'm thinking we shall end this part here then. Hello. It's a great listener. Oh my. Isn't he just? But yes, we shall end this part here. In the next part, side quest. Still got the warehouse stakeout. Still got the artisan suffering. We've still got the Grimwald Eos to do. And I still need to go around and check the shops at some point. And get stuff sorted. Also need to see about opening up this area. Because there is another side quest there as well. Also need to get the landmarks. There's loads of things to do. So anyway, we see in the next part. Thinking of the warehouse. Oh, actually. If I want the warehouse stakeout. I need to do the Grimwald Eos. That'll be our first port of call at the next part. Ta-da for now.